Recall the three conditions for f to be continuous at a. First, f of a is defined. Second, the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists. And third, the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals f of a. Let's look at the graphs to determine the different types of discontinuity and the reasons that we have a discontinuity. In graph A, we have what's called a removable discontinuity. Notice that f of 2, there's a hole there. That means f of 2 is not defined. Graph B is a very similar type of discontinuity. We still have a removable discontinuity. There's a hole at f of 2 in this linear portion, but f of 2 is defined in this graph. The problem comes in when we look at the limit. The limit as you approach 2 of f of x is not the same as f of 2 f of 2 is defined to be 1. The limit as you approach 2 from the left and the right is the value of whatever this hole is. Looks like it's around 3. Since those are different, we have a discontinuity. In graph C, we have an infinite discontinuity. It looks like f of a is defined everywhere. We have issues with the limits. Let's focus on zero. The limit as x approaches zero of f of x is not the same as f of zero. As you approach zero from the left and the right, the limit is heading to positive infinity. But f of zero is defined to be one. Since those values are different, we have a discontinuity. In graph D, we have a jump discontinuity. Condition one is good. The function is defined everywhere. The problem occurs when we start looking at the limits. For example, let's focus on two. The limit as x approaches two of f of x does not exist. Because if you're approaching two from the left, the value of the limit is one. If you are approaching 2 from the right, the value of the limit is around 2. Since the left and the right hand limits are different, the overall limit as you approach 2 does not exist.